Freebeat. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to Freebeat, where I post new music-related content every single day. So if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Let's get started. Happy Monday, everyone. Uh, we are, of course, back in the studio. And we are continuing uh, last, what was that, Saturday's video, uh, the adventure with the tripod, which uh, unfortunately did not work for the new overhead shot that I want to do. Uh, you guys uh, had some really good suggestions, um, and it kind of made me think, well, maybe there's a way I can pull this off without necessarily uh, returning the tripod, or if I do return it, maybe there's a way I can do this a lot uh, cheaper than I originally thought. And that led me to rummage through some stuff that I had at the apartment randomly, uh, such as this. This is like a pearl, I think it's a pearl if I remember. Yeah, pearl, this is like some kind of drum clamp. So basically uh, two of these can open up and fit to whatever size you want on either end. And then uh, they have a whole bunch of adjustments they can make. I used to use this on my acoustic drum kit to mount a, uh, like a piccolo snare drum. Uh, like if the kit's right here, I had it like mounted up there and it worked well for that. But I thought, well, why couldn't this work with that horizontal tripod arm? And uh, you know, I'm a drummer, so therefore <laughs> every drummer has extra cymbal stands and whatnot. I figured, why don't we put a cymbal stand behind here, use this arm like that, and then turn this piece sideways and have that uh, like extension arm come out and hold the DSLR. It might not be the sturdiest thing, but it might be a good start, uh, you know, to a solution for the camera problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get that set up and we'll see how it works. I'm excited. This might this might be the ticket. Okay, so I've got this rigged up like, like this here with the arm and the extension on this piece. I actually used the stand that was over here uh, because it had the double braced legs and I thought that might work better. So we do have a spot where we can uh, widen this uh, little clamp and uh, put the camera arm through. However, it just does not feel that sturdy to me, um, especially like right here. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if I want to try it or not. Uh, this stand in general does appear to be quite a bit more stable actually upon closer inspection. So uh, we might go ahead and try that one. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and reopen this box here and get that camera arm and see if we can pop it in there. Uh, Cause if that works, that'd be pretty cool. So uh, let's do that. All right, so I took the uh, extension arm off the base of the tripod and hooked it up there. And sure enough, I do believe that is a bit taller uh, than where we were with just the tripod on Saturday. Uh, so let's go ahead and hook the camera up to this. I'm gonna use the same overhead shot from right here and uh, we'll see if this uh, is worth using or at least looking into. It's not the most stable thing, which does concern me a little bit, but we will find out. Okay, so I have the camera mounted. I have not removed my hand yet, so I don't know if it's gonna stay. I'm gonna very slowly do so. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, it stayed, that's good. Uh, let's go ahead and move it into position. I was not expecting this to stay. I thought it would start to fall over. Okay, so I haven't really done anything to stabilize it other than moving the arm a little further down, but the MPC is on the desk and let's see if we can focus in. Yeah, check out that shot. That handily gets the MPC into frame, like no problem. And I actually realized I have room to go up. I can actually unscrew this and angle this upwards and then uh, use the ball head to, uh, you know, uh, level the camera. So we can go even higher up if we want to. I think I'm gonna try to widen the legs a little bit and then we also might still give that stand a shot. But by the end of this video, we should have our overhead shot. And uh, what's even cooler is I think I can order just this piece and use that and then uh, return the rest of the tripod because I definitely don't need it. And uh, it was sort of expensive. So I think I'm gonna have an even better and more flexible solution and save some money. Also, I could put a sandbag on this, which I'm sure would help. And I will in the long run if I do go with this kind of uh, setup. So yeah, uh, I'm going to try and stabilize this a little more and maybe get it a little higher. All right, well, I went ahead and uh, dragged out the single brace stand and hooked the camera mount up to that. 
and that actually works way better. It looks a little wobbly, but it feels a lot more sturdy, uh, and we don't have to deal with this business uh, with like the single like tiny rod coming out. Uh, we get a clamp to an actual stand, and yeah, this just makes me feel a whole lot better. And look how much space is between the stand and the actual camera. That's going to allow us to, uh, I think, pull this back even further and further stable the, uh, the whole stand. So yeah, very cool. Not to mention the sandbag will still be going on there. Yeah, this is exciting. This is really good. I'm going to try to uh, position this stand on the other side of the desk now. Okay, guys, I've got the uh, symbol stand back there. I actually was able to move the arm even further down, so it is actually very stable now. And let's put the MPC on the desk. Yeah, look at that. Look how much room there is on here. I mean, this, <laughs> this is amazing. I can actually, I can, you know, accidentally bump the desk and the camera doesn't move either. This is so, oh, this is gonna change things like drastically. This is really exciting. Uh, I do need to figure out a lighting situation because I don't think that is, <laughs> oh God, yeah, that is gonna look terrible. Uh, I don't know much about lighting, so I'm gonna have to play around with uh, these lights and my umbrellas, but yeah, uh, this is pretty exciting. I'm gonna go ahead and work with the lights and then we'll try to come up with a uh, final shot to end this video. Okay, so before you guys laugh at me, I know absolutely nothing about video lighting. So this is what I came up with. The two of these bulbs that I had were dead, so they originally went on those light stands, but I used another drum stand to mount one of these lights and then the umbrella uh, to get that lighting coming from like here and looking decent. Uh, this kind of messes things up, but it's all right. And then uh, that light down there just coming this way, I don't really know. Um, however, if it'll focus, there we go. The shot isn't terrible. There's definitely like two, uh, really problematic hotspots and I don't know how to get rid of them. Uh, it's honestly going to be a pretty big challenge to get rid of them with the furniture and the chairs still here and whatnot. So we might just have to make do with this. It's better than what I was doing before. I think with uh, the two of those lights here and here, those hotspots are really bad. Obviously this desk shows off the hotspots a lot more than my old one ever did, but it's okay. Once this furniture is gone, we are going to figure this out, uh, whether we have to pick up new lights or just rearrange what we have, maybe some new bulbs, uh, for those fixtures, but uh, yeah, we're gonna make it work. This is okay for now. Also, uh, check that out. I can fit the Keystep 37 in frame now. Uh, I could never do that before, and I've actually got a little wiggle room as well, so that's very exciting. Uh, tomorrow, I think I'm going to grab the monitor arm from my other desk. I'm gonna take it off, and I'm going to drill a hole in this one and mount the monitor in there, um, and then maybe uh, grab a really cheap wireless keyboard to use for editing. Uh, I need to put the launch pad away, but I want to clear up this space as much as possible. I'd like to get the audio interface underneath the desk as well. Um, so just, you know, give myself as much desk space as possible. Now, really quick, what I want to do before we wrap this one up is switch over to this shot and uh, see what it looks like uh, on proper video. So let's do that right now. Okay, so here we are at the uh, new little setup. Uh, the shadows do look pretty bad on my little monitor right up here on the camera right there, but I don't know what it's going to look like when I actually blow this up and edit it. So we will find out. Uh, either way, I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, be sure to leave a like on the video. If not, you can leave a dislike. That's okay, too. Either way, be sure to hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. I do hope you stick around because we are going to slowly but surely fix all these issues and further the journey towards high quality content that you all can enjoy. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.